Top 10 Best Police Movies In this video, we bring you some of the best police movies that you cannot miss. Let's start. First on the list, Sir Pico. In this film, Al Pacino is going to play a policeman named Frank Serpico in a biographical story about this agent who fought as an infiltrator against corrupt policemen between 1960 and 1972. Finally, after being shot in the face, Serpico will testify in front of a commission of inquiry. After being retired and receiving a disability pension trying to flee from his enemies, he will take refuge in Switzerland. This classic is one of the best police movies. Jesus, Frank, how was I supposed to recognize you? Next up, The Girl in the Fog. Anna Lou suddenly disappears in Avershot, a small mountain town in the Italian Alps. The case is assigned to the enigmatic detective Vogel. The story revolves around Anna Lou, a 16-year-old who mysteriously disappears in a remote and isolated town. Due to the little experience of the local police in this type of case, the prestigious detective Vogel will arrive at the scene. He is a professional in resolving this type of event, but with somewhat questionable methods. Borghi is the policeman who will accompany him throughout the investigation and who will help him collect all the pieces of this puzzle. Next up, End of Watch. It centers on two veteran Los Angeles police officers and how a problem from the past comes to complicate their lives in ways they never imagined. The film creates a portrait of the dangers of the city and how the policemen risk their lives every day, in addition to the price that they and their families are forced to pay. You all right? You all right? Come on! <laughs> Next up, Touch of Evil. After crossing the border with Mexico, an important businessman is assassinated. Mike Vargas, a Mexican policeman on his honeymoon, is a key witness. Next up, The Highwayman. In 1930s Depression-era America, Frank Hamer and Manny Gould are two veteran Texas Rangers who come out of retirement to hunt down the notorious criminal couple Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow. Convinced by a bank consortium to stop the violent gang, these two special investigators helped put an end to Bonnie and Clyde's spree of bloody robberies. What the hell is the world coming to? Used to be you had to have talent to get published, now all you gotta do is shoot people. Next up, A Second Chance. Andreas and Simone are two police officer friends who lead very different lives. The former lives comfortably with his wife, while the latter has just broken up his marriage and spends his life bar hopping. Their lives are going to turn upside down when they have to intervene to mediate the conflict between a couple of drug addicts and discover a newborn in a closet. Next up, Mystic River. When Jimmy Markham, Dave Boyle, and Sean Devine were kids growing up together in a dangerous Boston district, they spent their days playing baseball in the street, just like other kids in the Buckingham neighborhood. There was no major event in their neighborhood until Dave was forced to take a course that will change the lives of all of them forever. 25 years later, the three meet again over another momentous event, the murder of Jimmy's 19-year-old daughter. Sean, who has become a police officer, is assigned the case. Together with his partner, he is commissioned to unravel this apparently senseless crime. She also has to keep an eye on Jimmy, furious to find his daughter's killer. Linked to the crime through a series of circumstances, Dave has forced himself to confront demons from his own past that threaten to destroy his marriage and any hope he may have for the future. If you like top movies, don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell to see more videos like this. Next up, In the Heat of the Night. Police officer Sam Wood discovers the body of the richest industrialist in a small Mississippi town. Later, a black man, Virgil Tibbs, is arrested at the station and is questioned by the local police chief. During the interrogation, they discover that he is actually a Philadelphia police inspector. Both policemen, one white and the other black, collaborate to investigate the murder. For many, the best police film of the century. Next up, Patriot's Day. 
Tommy Saunders is a sergeant of the Boston police. In low hours, he has to do one last job in uniform before returning to his position as an investigator. It's about controlling the marathon of the next day. Through Sergeant Saunders, the film narrates the attack perpetrated during the Boston Marathon in 2013. The protagonist of the film is inspired by three real police officers who intervened in the exhaustive pursuit carried out throughout the city to find who was responsible for the terrorist attack that left three fatalities and more than 260 injured. Next up, Black Landsman. USA in the early 70s, a time of social unrest and fight for civil rights. Ron Stalworth becomes the first African-American detective of the Colorado Police Department. To assert himself, he decides to carry out a dangerous mission. He is going to infiltrate into the KKK Klan. To denounce it, he pretends to be a white supremacist, gets in touch with the group by phone and immediately goes on to meet the hardcore of this organization. Yes, for meetings in person, he receives help from his partner Flip Zimmerman. This is how they will get information about the preparations for an attack. The feature film is based on the true story of Ron Stalworth. Worth. Yeah, who's this? Ron Stallworth here. This is Walter, returning your call. From the organization. Next up, The Signal. 1952, Argentina. While Eva Perón is dying, a mediocre private detective finds himself involved in a story of betrayal and ambitions. Hired by Gloria, a beautiful and mysterious woman, little by little, the investigator will discover a violent framework marked by revenge. Next up, Seven. We can't let this top list without naming Seven. Lieutenant Somerset from the Homicide Department is about to retire and be replaced by the ambitious and brilliant Detective David Mills, both of whom will have to collaborate in solving a series of murders committed by a psychopath based on the relationship of the Seven Sins. Gluttony, laziness, pride, greed, envy, lust, and wrath. The bodies of the victims on which the murderer will rage in an impudent way will become a great enigma for the policemen that will force them to travel to terror and the cruelest barbarism. Get away from him! On the fucking floor! I know you. Now! Next up, training day. Jake Hoyt is a young police officer with good intentions to have finally achieved his long-awaited goal to become a detective serving Alonso Harris, a narcotics agent with more than 13 years of experience. In an environment clouded by crime, drug trafficking and cold-blooded murders, this new policeman will have to make himself respected by following in the footsteps of his superior, a man whose methods shake the barrier between legality and corruption, something that the young policeman seems unwilling to accept, a wonderful work of police cinema. Finally, Fargo. Jerry Landigan is a car salesman from a small town in Minnesota who is full of debt and financial problems, so he decides to carry out a desperate plan. Hire two mobsters to kidnap his wife and ask for a large ransom to his millionaire father. What seemed like a simple job ends up leading to a series of murders, causing the justice to begin to investigate closely and Jerry's plan falters. What police movie do you think we missed? We'll read you in our comments. Here we leave you more videos like this.